Okay, what we're going to do is a very simple project using Mako foundations and Mako speckled stroke and coats um, using the craft paper punches. First of all, I have mixed three parts glaze to one part water, giving it a bit of a mix, and I've already sponged my mug down with water, and I'm now going to pop all that glaze inside the mug and then carefully roll glaze the inside of my mug so I've got a nice covering of, of Mako white foundation glaze and as you can see I'm using my finger to be the break on the edge of the mug and I'm going to go around twice so I know I've got a good application of glaze there and then I'm going to pour it all back into the cup as you can see it's a little bit messy around the edge of the mug but we won't worry about that. We can fix that with a sponge in just a moment. So I like to just leave it to dry for a moment and I'll rest it half on and half off a tile so that the mug doesn't completely stick to my paper surface. Once the glaze has dried on the inside of the mug, it's going to look something like this. And it might look a little bit messy around the edge. If I have used a different colour on the inside I would maybe want to sponge that down and just tidy it up just with clean water on my sponge. What I now need to do is take just a regular white foundation and apply two coats of white foundation to the outside of my mug. Making sure that I get a nice join at that top edge there. I'm not going to worry about painting my handle because it's nice to hold whilst I'm painting. And as you'll see in the later steps, I use the speckled stroke and coat over the handle. Um, and so it's not necessary for me to have the white foundation there. So that is one coat and then we'll just leave that to dry the right way up. Actually, we'll put that over there and we'll swap it for one that has two coats. So this has my roll glaze on the inside and two coats of white foundation on the outside. Now what I want to do is use my paper punch to cut some shapes. I could just use regular copier paper and just punch through just like so. The problem with using regular copier paper is that when you're painting the colour on, it's, it's very hard to see where they are and you might leave a piece of paper behind. And I, on this particular piece I forgot to lift my paper pattern off and I've left a flower, a piece of paper there and that's what happens if you don't peel your flower off. So what I prefer to do is use some nice shiny paper um, and cut my paper templates from the shiny paper. Apply my paper cutouts using just water and just slide them onto my mug where I have two coats of the white foundation. As, I, as the water loses its wet shiny look, I'm going to just brush a little glaze over the top of the paper cutouts. That's to ensure that there's a good, neat um, join, that the colour that I'm going to put on over the top isn't able to bleed underneath. Okay, we're going to use the Mako Stroke and Coat, the speckled hot tamale. It's a new bottle, so I need to give it a good shake, and then I'm going to squeeze some out onto my tile. And then using a lovely soft fan brush, I need to apply two coats of this colour over the top of my paper punch cutouts.
Then we have to wait for the first coat to dry and then we need to come back and put a second coat on. So whilst we're waiting for this to dry, let me tell you the colours I've used. This mug has white foundation on the inside and speckered till next time on the outside. This one we've used uh, antique white foundation on the inside and all over the outside. Then the paper punches and then deep red over the top of that one. These have white foundation on the in and outside and then foundation number 43 over the top. I love that colour. And then these mugs are quite fun. We've used foundation on the inside and outside, wisteria purple on the inside and the outside. And then we've used white foundation over the top. And as white foundation doesn't have quite as much pigment as the Mako Stroke and Coat colours, you get some of the um, colour coming through and just gives this beautiful patchy mottled effect which I, I, I really really enjoy. So the areas that are whiter that will have had maybe three coats of white on top. This area down here definitely has two coats. We've also used the Hobby Colorobia Fairy Dust just in one coat over the top and various stroke and coat colours as washes. Those colours were applied before we removed the paper punches. Just think there. Bit of fun. And on several of them we have used the clear fairy dust, the Colorabia clear fairy dust, just over that area and just gives that little twinkle which I think is so nice. Once coat number one has dried, we need to apply coat number two. Now we need to let this dry a little. We, we will then need to get, use a, um, maybe a, a fettling tool, a sharp tool, or you might be able to use a cocktail stick and stab into your paper cut out and just lift it up. It sometimes comes up in one piece and others like now it's tearing. So we'll just clean our cocktail stick off. Taking care not to dig into your white glaze that you've got underneath there. Ta da How fun is that? I am going to just brush one more coat of glaze on the handle of the speckled hot tamale because the rest of the mug has had two coats of white foundation and two coats of the stroke and coat speckles and the handle's only had two coats and just it just needs I feel it needs to catch up with just one coat. The foundations are a glaze in their own right so they don't need any clear glaze over the top and by applying three coats of the speckled stroke and coat that's, that makes it a glaze in its own right so this doesn't need to be clear glazed either. Now those spots that I scratched I can just get my brush and I can just touch those up where I used the cocktail stick and went a little bit too far through. So at just each point where I, the cocktail stick first stabbed the glaze, I just touch a little bit more glaze on it. So up to you now. Um, you could add message on the bottom. Uh, you can either stilt it or dry foot and fire to cone 06 as per normal. Thank you very much.